Hello, it's Perigi here. In this video, we're going to learn how to create uh, a blur gradient in Figma. So as you can see over here, we're using uh, a Figma community file and you can see all sorts of different blur gradients. Now, while some of these uh, are quite easy to achieve, uh, and we're going to show you the very first and easy method. I'm also going to show you a plugin which enables you to create even more intricate mesh gradients. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle right here. And we are going to click on the fill section and we're going to select the gradient panel. Now, as you can see, the moment that we do this, we're going to have this gradient element which enables us to basically move the gradient direction and to assign different colors. So, for example, if uh, I add uh, a color around these lines over here and uh, for this one I'm going to change it to this uh, lighter blue, you can see how the gradient is going to apply. Now one word of caution is that uh, this uh, second color by default uh, whenever you're selecting the gradient uh, is going to be turned all the way down at zero uh, percent so just turn it up to a hundred and you're going to see the gradient and uh, really make it visible. And at this point, you, the sky is the limit, really. You can add uh, more of these uh, gradient touch points uh, in between, uh, and you can create uh, all sorts of uh, different gradients effect directly from this panel. Now, there are some more options uh, right here, such as uh, creating a radial gradient, uh, or even angular or diamond, although these usually are the least uh, used options. But there is one more way to create gradients uh, which uh, are even more intricate uh, and uh, similarly to the ones that you see on Apple wallpapers uh, and uh, on uh, uh, the web in general, really. And that is by using uh, this plugin called the Mesh Gradient and uh, you're likely not going to have it right away. So simply look for gradients and you're going to see it uh, right here or just right here in, in this section. And uh, as you click on mesh gradient, uh, you're going to be able to see this uh, option, which um, will enable you to select uh, different colors directly from uh, this section. And uh, you can pretty much uh, play around with uh, these uh, different colors uh, and you can, uh, of course, uh, add uh, more visual interest by just uh, changing uh, the direction and the location of uh, these uh, gradients uh, directly from here. And uh, you can also select uh, some of the save gradients. You can randomize if you want uh, a new gradient to be created uh, randomly so that you don't necessarily have to uh, start from a fresh uh, and uh, white canvas really and uh, you can change also the number of mesh points uh, which uh, is going to give you even more granular control over the gradient which uh, you are creating so this is a very nice uh, plugin in order to create uh, gradients uh, which are more advanced and more sophisticated. Uh, one other thing that I usually um, always tell to my students and that they use myself since I'm a designer with uh, over 10 years of experience, so I've been dealing with gradients in one way, shape or form for a very long time, is also sample gradients uh, from um, uh, either other community files uh, in the Figma community or even on resources such as Freepik uh, because um, there's a lot of uh, great gradients out there and sometimes uh, it's uh, just easier to pick one which is already well crafted. But if you want to go all the way and uh, create your very own gradient, you can absolutely do so in Figma. And uh, as you can see, it's a very easy process. And then once you're done with uh, your gradient, simply click on generate. And if you want it at 2x or 5x, which essentially means that it's going to be 
uh, a bigger file format so this is multiplied by two this one is multiplied by five we're just going to keep it at one x and uh, we're going to click on generate and as you can see this uh, new gradient uh, has now been generated and added to our figma file so really hope this video was helpful let me know if uh, you have any questions regarding gradients uh, in general and if you want to learn more about figma uh, yeah, we have uh, all sorts of different free resources on our website uh, so feel free to check it out i'm going to leave it in the link in the description and i'll see you in the very next video